This episode is brought to you by Liquid IV. Whether you're working out, side on your tan, or running errands at the perfect pace, Liquid IV powder keeps you going with two times faster hydration than water alone. Because real life is extreme enough. Real people, real flavor, real hydrating. Buy a stick in store or at liquidiv.com with the code podcast for 20% off your order. This is Optimal Health Daily, episode 2261. Is Intermittent Fasting Healthy? An Evidence-Based Look by Lorena Robinson with idealnutrition.com.au. And I'm Dr. Neil Malik, your host and narrator. Hey there, happy Saturday. Welcome back to Optimal Health Daily, where I simply read to you from the best health and fitness blogs for free. And on Fridays, I answer your questions. You can send one in at oldpodcast.com slash ask or email it in to health at oldpodcast.com. And with that, let's get right to our next article as we optimize your life. Is Intermittent Fasting Healthy? An Evidence-Based Look by Lorena Robinson with idealnutrition.com.au. Have you ever wanted to do a lot less cooking and cleaning, lose weight without starvation, spend less on food? Then intermittent fasting is an option worth considering. For most people, the call to try intermittent fasting comes from the desire to lose weight. While this may be the most recognized benefit of the diet, or more so, eating routine, there are other benefits too. Intermittent fasting is a type of eating pattern that requires you to skip one or more meals for a particular amount of time. Skipping meals allows you to automatically cut calories, giving you a calorie deficit that allows you to eat relatively freely at your other meal times. No calorie counting, macros, or points to calculate. Plus, you get the freedom to dine out and choose whatever you wish to eat. These factors alone tend to be one of the key reasons why intermittent fasting is becoming increasingly popular. Here, I discuss the evidence around both the effects of intermittent fasting for weight loss, other potential benefits, some precautions, and of course, how to get started. Intermittent fasting weight loss benefits. As mentioned, the key reason people try intermittent fasting is for weight loss and trying to lose body fat. Intermittent fasting is no different from other diets as it works by reducing your total calorie intake. So you hopefully burn more than you consume, and ultimately, this leads to weight loss. When you skip entire meals, you quickly reduce your daily calorie intake. For example, An average female typically aims for 1,600 to 1,800 calories a day as part of a weight loss plan. Skipping breakfast can save roughly 300 to 500 calories, leaving you with more calories to consume in the meals you do eat while staying on track with your weight loss goals. In one study, intermittent fasting resulted in an average of 3.8 kilograms more fat loss compared to a very low calorie diet, which consisted of about 800 calories or less. Another study found intermittent fasting resulted in a reduction in participants' waist circumferences by 4-7% to in 24 weeks. In typical calorie-restricted diets, researchers found that 25% of the weight you lose tends to be muscle mass. However, only 10% of muscle mass was lost using intermittent fasting. This does depend on how much protein you consume on your non-fasting days. It seems you need to eat at least 1.2 grams of protein per kilogram body weight on non-fasting days to preserve fat-free muscle mass. Another reason why intermittent fasting may be superior to, say, regular calorie-restricted diets or other weight loss methods is that it doesn't make your hunger hormones go crazy. A calorie restriction of 24 hours or less isn't severe enough to have you racing for that pack of chips or candies for that post-starvation, hormone-driven pick-me-up. So when you fast in intervals that are shorter than 24 hours, you're less likely to end up yo-yo dieting and sabotaging yourself by overeating at your next meal. Ultimately, this leads to better chances of you sticking to your lower calorie diet without feeling famished. Your basal metabolic rate, meaning the rate at which you burn energy simply by being alive, may also increase post-fast. Researchers believe this is likely due to an increase of norepinephrine as a result of lower blood sugar during the fast. This rise in norepinephrine also increased fat metabolism, meaning fat became the preferred fuel source for the body. However, these effects don't last if you continue to fast for longer than three days. In fact, your basal metabolic rate can drop significantly. 
other benefits of intermittent fasting. Fasting in its many forms has been part of many cultures for years, including major religions like Islam, Christianity, and Buddhism. Now, research is beginning to show that fasting can benefit more than just your waistline. In fact, fasting has been shown to help positively influence key risk factors for disease, reduce oxidative stress on the body, influence blood sugar levels, reduce inflammation, support a healthy heart, and even preserve brain function like learning and memory. Reduce your risk of chronic disease. Inflammation is a risk factor for most chronic diseases, including heart disease, type 2 diabetes, obesity, and cancer. Fasting increases your levels of human growth hormone and reduces inflammatory markers, helping to initiate the process that allow your body cells to repair. In one study, inflammatory markers were reduced when the participants ate less than 30% of their total daily intake in the evening and fasted for longer overnight periods than other study participants. Intermittent fasting may also support a healthy heart by positively influencing your cholesterol levels and other risk factors for heart disease. One particular study showed fasting resulted in increased HDL cholesterol and decreased LDL cholesterol and triglyceride levels. Plus, according to one study, fasting may decrease blood sugar by up to 12% and lower insulin levels by around 53% when you fast for around 16 hours daily. Brain health. There is still a lot of research to be done in this area, but preliminary animal studies suggest that intermittent fasting may help enhance brain function influence proteins involved in brain aging, and protect against memory problems and Alzheimer's disease. How it does this isn't yet quite understood. However, intermittent fasting can increase a hormone called brain-derived neurotrophic factor and may support the growth of healthy new nerve cells. More human research is needed to determine the full effects of intermittent fasting. However, the existing studies do show promising evidence to support the positive effects of fasting and its potential to reduce our risk of chronic disease. Types of intermittent fasting. How you fast is really up to you. For some, fasting for whole days is more appealing than simply skipping one meal a day. These are some of the types of intermittent fasting that you can follow. One, the 5-2 diet. Eat normally for five days of the week, but only eat up to 600 calories on the other two days. Two, eat, stop, eat, or spontaneous fasting. Fast for a 12 or 24 hour period multiple times per week. There's no real schedule for this one. Three, alternate day fasting. Fast for one day and eat normally the next day. Continue to alternate days of fasting and normal eating. Four, the 16 8 or lean gains method. Fast for 16 hours per day and eat in the remaining 8 hour window. Most people will skip breakfast and eat from 1 p.m. to 9 p.m., for example. And five, spontaneous meal skipping. Simply skip one or two meals when you don't feel hungry or don't have time to eat. Precautions. Despite the potential benefits of intermittent fasting, it's always best to speak to your healthcare practitioner before trying any new health or diet regimen. For some people, fasting can be harmful to their health depending on their current health status. Fasting may not be right for you if you have one or more of the following, low blood sugar levels, history of eating disorders, those with long-term hormonal issues or amenorrhea, gallstones, and thyroid issues. Those that are pregnant and those who are sick or ill should avoid intermittent fasting and focus on eating regular healthy meals to nourish the body. Whether you choose to fast for just a few hours each day, skip an entire meal, or fast for two days a week, the benefits of intermittent fasting are continuing to surface. Thanks to its adaptability to most lifestyles, it may well be one of the easier ways for some to maintain a healthy weight and reduce their risk for a variety of chronic diseases. You just listened to the post titled, Is Intermittent Fasting Healthy? An Evidence-Based Look by Lorena Robinson with idealnutrition.com.au. If I were to ask you to name a song by Dolly Parton or Queen, could you answer in under 15 seconds? If so, then you need to play Trivia Star. Trivia Star is a free mobile trivia game with over 60 different categories. If you choose the correct answer for multiple choices and beat the clock, you move on to the next level. The questions get harder over time, but if you get stuck, you can use coins and gems to get hints. And right now, 
Trivia Star is offering you 2,500 coins and 500 gems when you download and play. Above all, I love Trivia Star because it's a great way to test yourself and keep your brain sharp, which we can't talk about enough on OHD. Trivia Star has thousands of five-star reviews in the Apple Store and is the number one trivia game on the App Store. Download it today to challenge yourself. Just go to the Apple or Google Store and search for Trivia Star. Download Trivia Star for free today and get ready to flex your brain muscles. Health insurance premiums are increasing, deductibles are getting larger, and claims denials are becoming more common. I can attest to the general confusion there is surrounding health insurance. A lot of people just don't know where to go or what to do. Our sponsor, CrowdHealth, gives its members the freedom to move into a healthcare option that fits their needs. Your $50 a month membership gives you access to telemedicine visits, discounted prescriptions, and so much more. Plus, you'll have access to your own personal care advocate who will help you navigate complex health events and negotiate bills on your behalf. And of course, you'll join the crowd, a group of members just like you who want to help pay for each other's unexpected medical events. It's time you opt out of restrictive health insurance plans and let CrowdHealth help fit your healthcare needs. Get started today for just $50 per month. Use code OHD to get the healthcare you deserve. CrowdHealth is not insurance. Learn more at joincrowdhealth.com. That's joincrowdhealth.com. Code OHD. Dr. Neil here for my commentary. When researchers study intermittent fasting type diets, they often recruit young, otherwise healthy individuals. In fact, many of the studies that we see published include athletes as participants to see how their bodies respond to intermittent fasting. Since most of us aren't young, healthy athletes, we need to be sure that this eating pattern is right for us. Some studies did find that among those that followed an intermittent fasting type diet, they had an increased risk for developing nutrient deficiencies and experienced some loss of muscle mass. There's also the possibility that weight gain in the form of body fat could happen if and when we go off an intermittent fasting diet and go back to a typical eating pattern. But I always talk about how important it is to find an eating pattern that works for you and suits your lifestyle. Basically, a pattern that you can follow over the long term and is unlikely to cause you harm. So for those that may find themselves snacking way too often throughout the day or always eating too much during meals, then intermittent fasting may be a reasonable way to restrict calories for weight loss. And just like today's author, Lorena, said, if you decide you want to try it, it's always a good idea to talk to your healthcare provider about it too. All right, that'll do it for today. Thank you so much for being here. I hope you're enjoying your weekend if you're listening in real time. And I'll see you back here tomorrow for the Sunday show where your optimal life awaits.